guys, good morning. I uh, just got back from working out and I showered and I have such an exciting day ahead of me. I have a friend and her boyfriend coming to visit. They're gonna be here just for a few days. Um, but the reason why it's even more exciting than a normal friend visit, which is already very exciting, um, is that they're thinking about moving to Vegas. So you guys, we have to convince them. <laughs> we have to convince them to move to Las Vegas because it would just be great. It would be great. You know, I've, I've created a really nice, small, tight group of friends here, as you guys know, but it's just, it would be so nice to have someone here that I've known for decades. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, like friend slash family. It would just be really, really lovely. So they are landing in a couple of hours, just two hours away. Um, so I am just, you know, getting ready. Tonight is, pardon my ignorance, because I have no idea about anything related to the NFL and football. Like I know the rules to football, but that's where my knowledge about football in general ends. Um, but tonight is like a big night. I think it's like the is it opening night. Is that what we call it? The first, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but my friend and her boyfriend requested that we go somewhere to watch the game. And since we're West Coast time, I believe the game here starts at 5.30. So I'm gonna pick them up at the airport, drop them off uh, here, get them settled in, and then we're gonna go. There's a lot of options here in Vegas, uh, which I found out in this whole sort of journey of like NFL, like educating myself around tonight and the NFL. So I was talking to my husband about it. I was like, okay, they, they wanna watch the football. How, how do we do this? And he's like, we can go to a sports book, whatever. Um, so the sports books at the casinos here are huge, like humongous, especially the ones on the strip or in downtown Vegas. They're gigantic. It's a big deal. Sports betting is a big deal. They have like a gazillion screens. They have like stadium style seating. And I'm like, oh, that could be really fun. And then I thought, well, it's, it's a big night. Like this is gonna be a really, really big night. For football so I was like well I wonder if you can reserve seats anyway long story short to reserve a seat at a big sports book like a nice big one on the strip is fairly expensive it's like going to a concert so you know I'll do anything they want to do but I think that that's not exactly what they were looking for so our other two options would be a smaller casino like a locals casino we have uh, one very close to our home or we just go to a sports bar. So I think they're kind of like deciding and mulling it over. My thing is I don't wanna spend all night trying to find the right place to watch the game and miss the game. I mean, I know they go on forever, but like, you know, I think we just wanna sit, hang out, settle in, eat some really bad for you bar food. Like, I think that's all we wanna do. So uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but I need to ask them actually if they're okay with being on the vlog. If not, you'll probably hear their voices and not see their faces, um, but hopefully they'll be okay with the vlog because I'm gonna be bringing them around to a lot of different places. We'll be doing a lot of different things. And I thought that would actually be a fun vlog. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I am getting ready and um, I'm actually using a newish moisturizer to me. So this is a moisturizer I started using uh, before New York and I actually brought it to New York with me because I did want to test it in a different climate and New York, as you guys know, much more uh, humid. I was gonna say it's much warmer and humid. No, it's not much warmer than Vegas at all. It's cooler, but it's more humid. In Vegas, it's warmer and drier. So this has worked beautifully in both climates and uh, I really, really enjoy this moisturizer. It has like a really awesome texture. So this is the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. And I am working with Ula Henriksen on this video. So big thank you to them. They did send this product over for me to try out. So let me show you the texture of this. I'm hoping you can tell. So here it is in the jar. And I don't know if you can see that, but it looks fairly dense. And I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, how, you know, how dense is this? So here you can see like it's not dripping or whatever, but it's like this balm gel kind of texture and so it it just sort of starts to melt into the skin it's such a cool texture i really really love it 
and I actually have a second jar of this and I had my husband start using it because I have very dry skin. He has, I would say, normal to oily skin and he's loving it too. He's like, oh wow, this texture is so neat because you can literally feel it just like melt into your skin. So I started using this just in the daytime. You guys know I have like my skincare routine. I really like certain products. I really like to use them, you know, morning or night. Uh, I'm very particular, but after using this during the mornings, probably for about a week, I was like, I'm gonna start using this at night too. And I love it. My skin has been really, really, baby baby soft really really smooth and it hasn't like irritated my skin i have very very sensitive skin so that's definitely something i look out for when i try a new product um i make sure that you know it doesn't bother my skin in any way i don't feel irritated or anything so some of the claims that this moisturizer makes is that it helps with your skin barrier which is fantastic whenever i see that i get very excited because i do suffer from eczema i have that sensitive skin issue um, and my sensitive skin is basically because I have a compromised skin barrier. And you know, I'm gonna be 49 in a couple of weeks. Can you believe it? In a couple, literally in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be 49. Um, and you know, one of my main skin concerns is that I, I wanna age gracefully. So I do wanna, you know, fight those fine lines. Um, and I also am very, very concerned with just like the, the firmness and the elasticity of my skin. I'm definitely seeing some changes happen and I feel like this moisturizer has really, really helped with firmness. I do feel without the tightness feeling because I don't like that. I don't like products that claim that they firm your skin, but all they're really doing is kind of drying out your skin and making it feel tight. This, absolutely not. This moisturizer definitely makes my skin feel tight without any of the dryness, without any of the tightness. I just feel like I'm, I'm sculpted, like I'm being sculpted by this moisturizer. So I have really been enjoying it. I'm definitely going to continue using this uh, both day and night because it's been working out so well for me. Uh, so that is the Strength Trainer peptide boost moisturizer and this jar by the way is a 50 ml jar 1.7 fluid ounces and of course i'll leave a link down below in my description box you know where you can purchase it if you are interested all right i'm gonna let that absorb just a little bit more and then i'm gonna throw on some spf of course and then i need to get dressed and get ready for my friend i clean up like the guest room and everything and you know i tried to pick up around the house but of course it's not perfect but it's okay it's okay i literally have known this friend since um 2003 so how long yeah almost 20 years 19 19 years wow wow God, we've been through a lot. Anyway, I'm so excited to see her later. I am all dressed. I'm wearing all black because I did not want to show any allegiance to any team because I know nothing. <laughs> um, what time is it? I think I've got, oh my gosh. I've got an hour. I've got an hour before they land. I should actually check on their flight because the weather has been really clear. Oh my God, I almost... <laughs> My knee almost buckled going down the stairs because I worked out really hard today and yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday and today. I don't generally work out two days in a row, like hard workouts two days in a row, and I did, and my, oh, I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. My legs aren't working. If you work out really hard going downstairs, is a gazillion times harder than going upstairs. <laughs> anyway, I should check on their flight, make sure it's on time. On time, oh, they're gonna get here early. So estimated arrival is 20 minutes earlier. That's very exciting. So I just picked up my friends from the airport and their first request. Can you guess where we are? Can you guess where we are? In and out burger. We got so then, a whole lot of double, double. Do you have a question, Sergeant? Yeah, so you got a regular, and the difference is it has no sauce. So they paint mustard on the patty before they grill it on the animal <laughs> style, and then they put grilled onions on it. And then the standard, wherever it is, has raw onions and no mustard. Thank you very much. I have never heard anyone break down an In-N-Out burger like that, so that was very interesting. <laughs> okay, we're, we're at our second yeah. stop. So they've requested, I, got, I, I, I told you guys that we we're gonna watch football tonight. So I found this place that's going to be televising the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. That's the one they wanted to watch. Now, I have to show you this. I'm gonna call it a statue. What, what is going on here? What is this? <laughs> so 
So we are at the Timbers Bar and Grill. It's actually fairly new. I hear a lot of hubbub inside already, so we're just gonna focus on the stag just a little bit more. Wow, okay, all right. I don't, can I, oh, I can't get my head in his head. He's so tall, I can't get, I can't get in there. Good morning, Butters. Guys, I think it's been raining all night, like a light drizzle. This weather has been so weird in Vegas. Good morning, guys. How are you? Gosh, I think I left off last night when we were at Timbers, and I think they're a chain, but we went to a fairly new one uh, down, well, I was gonna say in my neighborhood, but it's actually not in my neighborhood. It's like 20, 25 minutes away. Um, and we watched the football game and Tampa Bay won, which was the team that my friends were, our fans of, I know, that's their team. Um, so that was good, that was a good night and the bar was pretty empty, but we just hung out in these huge cushy seats. It wasn't crowded at all. They had the game on like every screen. Yeah, it was just a really, really nice night. And then after that, we just came back here. I watched the latest episode of House of the Dragon. Um, they're not Game of Thrones fans, so um, they weren't into watching it. So I just watched it uh, in bed with my husband. Um, and it was, it was kind of a slow episode. It was good, it was good. I think it moved the story forward, but it wasn't that, you know, <laughs> there was a lot of action. So yeah, so today, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if it's supposed to drizzle all day, not that we had anything like outdoorsy planned, but um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. So I was thinking for lunch, we could do sushi and they're both really fascinated. Well, not my good friend, my girlfriend. She's, I think she's had all you can eat sushi. I can't remember, we talked about it last night, but anyway, her boyfriend uh, who's here with her, he, is like fascinated by this concept. <laughs> so we're gonna go to an all-you-can-eat sushi place for lunch. And uh, like yesterday, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Obviously, I asked them if they would be okay being in the vlog and they both were like totally fine with it. I'm just gonna kind of wait for them. With the time difference, I don't know. I hope they sleep in. They both work really long hours physical jobs, so I really hope they're able to kind of like just sleep in. It's so quiet here. I uh, am enjoying some coffee. I did my Wordle. I got three out of six today. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we are on our way to All You Can Eat Sushi. So excited, I'm starving. We are going to It's Sushi on Warm Springs. It's their second location. Their first one's in, I think like the Chinatown area. Anyway, the Southwest location is just closer to me. And it's newer, so it's nice. It's really comfortable. And uh, both of my friends here have not ever had all you can eat sushi. No. <laughs> They're like, is it a buffet? I'm like, no, no. Um, oh, wait, so let me explain it to you, and I could explain it to them at the same time. So you can choose a la carte, you don't have to do all you can eat. Um, so there's a price, obviously, one base yes. price for all you can eat for lunch, all you can eat for dinner. Um, it's usually just like a few dollar difference. And then there's usually a time limit, <laughs> which I don't think I've ever seen anyone either be kicked out or reach it or whatever, because I think it's an hour and a half or two hours for most places is the time limit. I can't eat for that long. I, I can't imagine being there for any longer than like an hour. So there's a time limit. And then the other rule, major rule across all, all you can eat sushis is you have to eat what you order. You can't have any leftovers. Otherwise they're gonna charge you like a la carte oh. for the dish. Uh, like no like leftover rice or whatever, because obviously that's what fills you up, yada yada. Um, and then on the menu, and this is kind of dependent on the restaurant, there are some pieces or items that you can only order once. So like the more expensive ones, like uh, like salmon belly, you can only order like one order of it. Um, anything else, you can just have them just order as many as you want. That's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Bring on the gluttony. So I'm excited to be introducing someone to the concept of all you can eat 
Sushi. Because we used to have it in Manhattan, but a Correct. long time ago. I can't think of another food I'd want all you can eat. Crab legs. Yeah, Crab they, legs. we can do that too if you guys want. <laughs> I just think it's like, it's so messy and I just can't eat that many, me personally, I just can't eat that many crab legs. Like it doesn't make sense for me. Oh, you can eat french fries? That, oh, I can totally do that. All you can eat french fries. I don't think there's a lot of other things all you can eat, right? You can't do all you can eat ribeye. Yeah, drink. it just doesn't. Oh, you can eat tacos. I could get behind that. I may have seen that. But there was, it just don't, like financially just don't make sense, obviously, for yeah. the restaurant. I'm actually confused how sushi even works. Because they probably do so much volume. Rice. Yeah. Rice and the rice. Yeah. All right, we've arrived. So it's sushi. It's on Warm Springs, if anyone is a Las Vegas local. It's on Warm Springs between, I think like Buffalo, Buffalo and Durango, like around there, like the Southwest area. think uh it was really good okay would not far better quality than what i would have expected from an yeah. all-you-can-eat sushi place. right yeah i yeah. just wanted the boat that came by that i could pick things up. <laughs> we do have conveyor belt sushi here are as you? well yeah we can do we can you guys are just gonna have to stay longer let's just be honest. don't get the fancy rolls yes yes that's a rule that i think we just developed right no fancy rolls just stick with the basics go stuff. simple go simple you guys may or may not believe this but we left the all you can eat sushi restaurant <laughs> Stop laughing. to go eat more <laughs> and i was like do you guys want to try my favorite ice cream place it's frozen custard so here we are we're at nielsen's frozen custard in henderson on eastern ave again if you're a local i'm sure you know about it uh, but it is the best ice cream I have ever had. So that's what we're doing now. And surprisingly, I think I'm the only one. I'm not that full from the sushi. <laughs> Friends, I forgot to take footage of the ice cream that we got because I ate it so fast. <laughs> anyway, we came home. I passed out cold on the couch for like a good eight minutes. <laughs> passed out um, and now we're gonna just run some errands my friend's gonna come with me I'm not gonna eat for the next hour no <laughs> we're not we're not gonna eat for a, a while a while <laughs> all right so the feeding the feeding continues uh, we decided we're gonna do all you can eat Korean barbecue for dinner so we are at Gong Korean Barbecue. It is in the southwest part of Vegas. It is off of Rainbow and Robindale. Rainbow and Robindale. This is one of our favorite, favorite Korean barbecue restaurants. So I'm excited to show my friends the all you could eat Korean barbecue goodness. Well, you guys can be in it. <laughs> I wonder if they have mushrooms and vegetables, garlic butter, shrimp. Can I take the empty plate? Thank you. You want one more? Pancakes? No? No, I think Thank we're good. You. <laughs> Thank you. So, ribeye steak, tender. Let me switch on that side. I think they just doubled everything. Maybe I'll try. Thank you. Maybe I'll try it. We're in the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're behind. I like oh, it. Are you guys liking it so far? Yeah, we got the slow cooker. Oh, 
Definitely a uh, top highlight. Yeah. Now we're getting custard. Is it so much fun? Okay, we, we are finally done gorging ourselves on Korean barbecue. So good. We're all, probably in about 30 minutes, we're all gonna break out into meat sweats. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Th throughout the night. We're trying to just try to decide if we're going to do dessert so I can barely get the words out <laughs> if we're going to get dessert or not. <laughs> dessert? Dessert? No chocolate. No. Uh, maybe a donut hole rather than a whole oh, donut. A donut, donut, donut hole. A donut hole rather than a whole donut. For sure. I like the way you think about it. We'll do one donut hole each. No, no, no. no I get split four ways. <laughs> Dale Bales? No. Costco. I'd like you to try this and let me know what you think. Costco, okay, so they're convincing me I to purchase swear Costco you bagels. Because I feel like you had them when we were here last time. Um, what bagels did you have? Because I ate them. Yeah. No, I swear well, it was. They're trying Costco. to convince me to get Costco bagels because they're yeah, supposed to be very good. I Costco bagels you no, did. you had. He has the Kirkland ones. You're telling me to go to the bakery, bakery, and get like the bakery bagels. Diff that's different. They make a Hello. Good morning. I am um, on my way home. I went to Pilates this morning. I left my friends resting comfortably at home. Um, I think they're awake now. They just texted me. I'm gonna bring them back some coffee. Um, but today we're gonna have a much. <laughs> much calmer food day. I can't get over like how much, um, how much food we had, but they, you know, where they're from, they, they just, they don't have an all you can eat situation there. It's a fairly foreign concept to them. So I just wanted to show them the all you can eat sushi. We did that for lunch. And then we were talking that they have never really had good like Korean food. And I was like, well, if we want to continue down this all you can eat, we can do Korean barbecue, which they were really excited to try as well. So anyway, so it's been, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. And today we're going to turn it down a little bit. Um, we are just going to kind of explore parts of Vegas, like different neighborhoods. I, I mentioned right at the beginning of this uh, vlog that they're thinking about moving here, right? Yes, yes, I remember when I was getting ready. Um, so I just want to show them like some of the more popular neighborhoods where people live. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then um, I actually had planned to make a pork shoulder for all of us. And so I had that like defrosting in the refrigerator before they came and then I marinated it and I'm like, I just have to make it. So uh, we're gonna have that for lunch. At least that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then I made reservations for us to go to Sushi Samba for dinner. And um, my friend and I have been to Sushi Samba, the one in New York. Well, those are, I think, all closed now at this point. Uh, but we used to go all the time. It was like one of the places, you know, if we just, didn't know where else to go. Be like, oh, let's just go to Sushi Samba. So anyway, I was like, let's go to Sushi Samba because her boyfriend uh, has never been. And um, I just think it's it's just an interesting menu. So, oh, and they just redid the one here um, at the Venetian. Uh, they like redid the bar and like redid the restaurant or whatever. So um, I want to go take a look. So, uh, and we haven't been to the Strip. So that's going to be our activity um, this evening. And that's it. I hope you guys have been enjoying kind of hanging out with us, uh, just running around, just running around Vegas. I'm trying to think if there's some, like, kind of like snack place I can take them to in between also, like in between lunch and dinner, like how we got frozen custard uh, yesterday. It may be a little too much. Like I said, we're trying to tone it down today. Um, but I also want to like fit in as much, <laughs> as much as I can. So we'll see, we'll see how we feel. All right. Our first feeding stop of the day is Black Bear Diner. I think I've vlogged from here before, but you guys know I love bears. So this is one of my favorite places. Are you guys 
Are you guys ready? We're I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> We're ready to start eating. <laughs> Commence the feeding. Commence the feeding. It's the New York Times, Bear style. The Black, the Black Bear Gazette. Okay, we couldn't resist. We got a couple of pies to go. They're actually for my husband. So a berry, a berry cobbler and an apple pie, right? Is what we got? Yeah. Yeah. The Vegas tour continues. We are in downtown Summerlin. We're not eating anything. We're actually trying to walk it off. <laughs> Important for people to know we're not eating anything. These are the pies that we picked up from Black Bear Diner. It's really just a food vlog. <laughs> so this is the apple pie, the one with the lattice top. And then this is a berry cobbler. Mixed berry, berry cobbler. Berry cobbler with mixed berries in there. And then this morning, I put that it's pernil. It's a food vlog. The pernil in the oven and it's done. Okay, we are at our next feeding. <laughs> We're at the Palazzo, which is attached to the Venetian, and we are going to Sushi Samba. We're just making our way through. 